Surgeon General Warning. Tobacco smoke increases the risk of lung cancer and heart disease, even in non-smokers. Today we're over here in Altadis State Company, the main home farm. We're starting with the process of selling the tobacco. This is the beginning stages of the tobacco leaf. First we seed it here, then we take it to the fields, and once the plant grows about 10 to 12 feet, that's when we start harvesting it. Before we start setting, we send our tractors out and they prepare the land, so that way it's nice and smooth and in texture, so that way we can put our seedlings in the ground. The Connecticut Valley is great for growing shade tobacco because of the mountains, the climate, and the soil. This is here where we keep all the, the seedlings. From here, we transplant it to the fields. This is the Connecticut shade that we're setting here. This is for the Prima Cigars, which is the Monte Cristos and the Romeo and Julieta and it's basically for the wrapper of the tobacco. What you guys see right now is the machine, the way the guys are setting the tobacco. The guys are putting the plants on the machine with their fingers and they hold it. And then the machine itself, as it turns, it drops the plant at the same time. The machine itself puts water and covers it with the back wheel. And you see those guys behind? What they were doing right now, they were cleaning, making sure all the bowls are covered. These bowls here, they gotta be covered in the ground. And of course, you clean them around, you don't want them to be choked. You see, if the, if the leaf is choked, you gotta open it here so the heart could be free. And that way, you know, it got plenty of air and it grow. The difference between shade and brawley the brawley we planted outside in the sun. The shade, we got some cloth that we put it over it. And that's to keep it from getting the leaves too thick. It blocks the sun, you get more heat, and the leaves will be more um, texture-wise. We want it to be nice and fine, the leaves. They can't be too thick or brittle. The brawley, the opposite. The brawley's gotta be thick. The process of you knowing that the tobacco's ripe is when you pick three leaves, I ran them and you check for the ripeness. And by checking the ripeness, you take the tip of the leaf and you bend it. If it snaps and you look at it, it gives you a nice crispy snap, it's ready to harvest. To grow this crop over here, it takes a lot of hard work and you gotta have a good heart to do this. A lot of hours you gotta put in, it's dedication. You gotta have it. Fifty-five days ago, these were seedlings, and now they're being harvested, ready to be cured. This is how we do it here. We snap it like that, and we put it right there. And we go to the next plant here. We got one, two. Make sure they're nice and straight, and grab another. This leaf here is going to be two wrappers. They take the leaf, they cut the center off, and this side here is gonna be a wrapper and this side. Usually they go around here, quarter of an inch, they cut it off, and this is the part they use for the premium cigars. For someone who haven't seen this process done before, one of the neatest is the harvest, when we start picking the tobacco, making sure it's ripe and ready to go to the barn. So the following process, which is the other workers will sow it and hang it in the barn. And this shed here, we get about 250 bundles, which is roughly about 300,000 pounds of tobacco. Once the shed is complete, we let it rest for two or three days, and then 
We put the burnish and we do the initial green fire. We do it in a five day stage. The first day we set it up at 86 degrees and then we do increments of two degrees per day. This is the critical stage of the tobacco process. Because if you get it wrong in the green fire, the leaves won't turn brown. They'll be on a greenish color and you don't want that. You gotta concentrate and plan how you're gonna green fire your tobacco. And there's a technique to it. After firing, we open the sheds, give it plenty of air. The air, of course, helps it dry faster. The curing process, what it does, it makes the colors look better. The best leaves with a better color, those are the ones we use for the wrapper premium cigars, the Monte Cristo and the Romeo Julieta. The young plants will be in the ground about 55 days, and then we'll bring them into the barn, which will be the home for them for the next seven to eight weeks before we start taking it down. The Connecticut Valley is great for growing shade tobacco. It was an excellent season for us. You've seen the tobacco growing from the seedlings all the way to being a mature plant. It makes me proud of the job we're doing over here. Now that the tobacco is nice and ready, it's been about eight weeks in the shed, and that's when we start taking it down, once we notice that the veins are nice and dry. Once they're dry, then we start the process of steaming it and to take it down. The steaming is very important because you don't want it to be too dry. Too dry when we handle it, we're gonna break it apart and you want the correct moisture in the tobacco in order to handle it and you know pack it into cases. There's an art behind the steaming the tobacco too. You gotta have a, a hand for it, you know. The workers, they bring down the tobacco, they put it in racks, and then we got other workers that are punching it and tying it at the end, and then we're packing it into cases. And each case is about 200 pounds of tobacco. Once the tobacco is packed into cases, then we send it out to be sweat. The sweating process makes the leaves even blend the color even more. The sweating process is about 30 to 40 days at a high temperatures. After the tobacco has been sweat, I go and check the tobacco to look at the color sheet nice and even, and then it's ready to go to the Dominican Republic to the Tabacere Garcia, where they're gonna start rolling the premium cigars, which are the Monte Cristos and the Romeo and Julieta. That process down there, they take it and they go leaf by leaf and color-wise, and then they bulk it in the same crates that we do over here. They bulk it by colors, and then of course they take the middle vein off, they size it, and then after they size it and everything, then it's ready to be hand rolled to premium cigars. From the seedlings all the way to being a mature plant and getting it nice and dry and sending it out, it takes about seven months. It's a nice experience to watch. By now, everything is shopped and it's an excellent feeling. You know, you, you accomplish what you wanted. You have a nice crop and you get ready for the following year. Mm -hmm.